Now, in medical rounds tonight, a question for all parents of student athletes. Is your child at risk for sports-related injuries? There's a study being conducted at the Hartford Healthcare Bone and Joint Institute in partnership with Quinnipiac University to try to prevent injuries. Sarah Emlaw, physical therapist with the Center for Musculoskeletal Health at the Bone and Joint Institute, is joining us now live. Good evening, Sarah. Thanks for being with us tonight. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Well, tell us about this study. It sounds interesting. Sure. So we are looking to create a database of information of high school athletes and their baseline functional movement patterns. Uh, this information we can use so if patients do sustain an injury during their season, we have something to compare where they were at when we're rehabbing them and how to even get them over better than that baseline measure. We can also use it as a preventative measure to um, try and refrain from getting injured. That, those baseline measurements are so important. What is your goal for this study? Our goal is to try and reduce the injury occurrence by 30% over the next three years of the high school athletes. Wow, 30%, that would be significant. And what can someone expect should they participate in the study? The athletes will be asked to go through a um, numerous amount of functional and dynamic uh, testing that looks at how they are moving in their sports. They simulate a lot of the movements that their sports are um, requiring of them and uh, that's basically it. But are there, you wonder, are there any risks to participating in this? The risks are actually really minimal, which is great. Uh, so during the dynamic and functional movements that we're going to have them do during the testing, they may get a little bit of muscle soreness or a muscle strain, um, nothing that won't go in a couple days. Um, also, if we do have them come into our motion analysis lab to look at how they're moving and the quality of their movement, um, we hook them up to little skin sensors that are just a, a sticky, and if they have any uh, sensitivities to the sticky adhesives, then they may get a rash. Uh, what sounds like it's a great way to determine uh, how well somebody's body is working as they try to do the sport to the best of their ability and prevent injury at the same time. Thank you so much and keep us posted on that study, Sarah. Now, if you'd like to learn more, call the number on your screen. In the meantime, if you'd like to ask Sarah a question about this study, just go to the Hartford Hospital Facebook page for a live discussion.